$10,000 in sales for 75 stores, it's not a good number. My name is Michael Woolley, and I'm the Chief Financial Officer of Best Packs. Well, hello, Sharks. My name is Arthur Greer. I am the official licensee of the Best Pack. I'm asking for $50,000 for exchange for 10% of my company. We have added a new twist to the common vest. Best Packs was invented by my daughter when she was in sixth grade. Her teacher gave her a science project. Find a problem, come up with a solution. She thought backpacks are heavy. She created a new backpack that's more comfortable, convenient, and stylish. Mm. Introducing Best Pack. It's a Best Pack combination. Its functional design helps distribute the weight. <laughs> Great job, model. I'm model in the making. <laughs> you know, I've been in the backpack business for over 30 years, and I've never seen a product like this before. Remember, you can put important stuff up front, like your money. OK, sharks, who wants to start putting money in your front pockets? How much money do you have in sales? <laughs> January and February, we had uh, approximately $10,000 worth. Ooh, that's not a lot of money. Yeah. <laughs> All right, can we come back and let me give a little history after my daughter had invented it. She won her sixth grade science class contest. Then another contest called Million Dollar Idea Challenge comes up. And so it was put on Oprah Winfrey. And still you only sold $10,000. <laughs> no, 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 this, this was back in 2003. How old's so your daughter now? <laughs> she's 27. <laughs> Really? Michael, yeah, I thought that was your daughter. Oh, no, no, no. really? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. You made it seem like this just happened, and it was a new I, product. I, I don't know, I don't know. What, what did I say to when make... When you start talking about your daughter in sixth grade, we see these kids. Didn't you guys think that this just happened recently? Yeah, and totally. when you were talking about winning this contest and getting this attention, it was like it was yesterday. Yeah. Well... <laughs> what happened? But, but, but when she was... <laughs> what happened here? She was in product development. It took a while. <laughs> Why is there this huge block of time where nothing much happened? I didn't have the funds to, to, to go and buy a lot of stock. How old your daughter? Sixth grade, 11? And she's 27 now, right? Right, right so at 15 that's years. 16 All right. years. I guess that's, can you understand her gap of credibility over that 16 years? But it years? would have been okay if you would've just told well, us no, that. Yeah. No, I just yeah. understand where, where you're coming from, but. All right, here's the magic question. <laughs> How much has your sales been in Since the last in sixth grade. 16 years? Basically, the $10,000 for January and February. OK, guys, when this product came out, Mandy was number one, OK? <laughs> we'll start there. Since then, nothing's happened until you put it into Walmart. We still don't know yet if it's going to be delisted or not. We're going to wait yeah. for the back to school season. That Absolutely. would be an important piece of information, because I don't think it's worth $500,000 until I know that Walmart wants to keep it in. And in the case of this product, whether we get together now or another decade, who cares? It's just a blip in the long duration of how long this thing's been around. <laughs> May my, I add my bet now? is if I went to the Smithsonian and went to the Backpack Museum, <laughs> I would find that here. Actually, it's, uh, it's funny you mentioned that. Because yeah. <laughs> they, they have invited us for 2015 for the, the exhibit. Okay, so I'm about okay. to say, and this is serious, yeah. I'm out. May I say that there is a problem out there. You got to understand with some of the heavy books and stuff like that. And it does distribute the weight. We tested it, and it was less weight. You know, you yeah. seem like a genuine person. I don't think you came out here to mislead us. No. Here's my challenge with it. Forget the 16 years. Forget the song Mandy. Forget all that. $10,000 in sales for 75 stores, it's not a good number. It takes time to develop some of these things. I'm really at the beginning stages. I, I hear you, but $10,000 is 75 stores and the largest retailer in the world. And I also have a test going into Toys R Us, which is FAO Swartz. As you know, I have other people the that are trying to. The numbers don't lie. I'm out. Guys, I actually like the product. It's not bad. But we invest in the entrepreneurs, and we invest in the company. Oh, and sure. there's just a whole lot of question marks in my mind. So for those reasons, I'm out. But the good news is Barbara and Lori still aren't out. 
I happen to love the product. Thank you. All right? It's a new twist on something that every kid in America buys every other year. And one of the other things I wanted to point whoa, whoa, whoa. out. I'm still talking. This is a sad case, quite honestly. No offense oh, to smart. either of you. Oh, the you. right product, but the wrong entrepreneurs. I'm out. OK, I get it. You just got this product, and you're trying, and you're hustling, and you're trying to get it into a lot of places. The problem is, when you say that you're in that many stores, and you're only doing $10,000, unfortunately, whether any of us think it sounds like a good idea, the consumer is speaking. Right. And they're saying they don't want it. And for that reason, I'm out. Right. Good Thank luck, you guys. So Thank you very much. The golden ticket goes to my favorite product. I've made you a good offer. That's what I'm talking about. That is the winner. Riding all the way to the bank, baby. Yeah. You've come to the right place.